Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. My name's Neil, and I'm coming back at you with another jersey unboxing. This is from Ghoul Hockey. And guys, look at the size of this box. There are two jerseys in here. At least I think I ordered two, and the box is bigger. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that both jerseys are in this box. And I got a little damaged right here. I can actually stick my finger down through, so I'm a little bit worried that FedEx may have damaged one of my jerseys. So we're gonna take a close look at that one for sure, whatever one is in that section of the box. But I got the overhead camera, and we are gonna unbox both of the jerseys right now on camera. So let's do it. Let's find this tab. Tab is on this side. If you guys don't know, you get FedEx boxes from Cool Hockey. There's a little tab. You just pull, and then you open. Oh, okay, okay. Let's uh, let's put her back down on the table. We'll get the overhead camera going. We'll open this up a little bit for some maximum reveal action. So let me let me double check and make sure there's actually two in here. All right, we're good. I have confirmed that there are two jerseys in the box. Now I'm gonna let you guys take this opportunity to guess. I know a lot of people love doing that in the comments section. You guys follow my collection, my journey. Uh, you guys know the, the jerseys I have for the most part. I sold some recently, so maybe you don't know my to total jersey collection, but I got some bad news to tell you guys after I unbox these because these jerseys, you're not gonna be able to get them for long. You're not gonna be able to get them for long. So guess now, pause the video, comment down below what jerseys you think this is. All right, let's do it. Here we go. First jersey of the two. <sighs> oh. Now you jersey experts will know right away some people might see the green and think something else, but this striping at the top here is a dead giveaway. Let's flip it over for the actual reveal. There you go, guys. It's the Hartford Whalers green jersey. Let's get it open. Right out of the plastic. Oh, snap. It is blank, as you can see. Let's flip it over. <laughs> this logo. This logo is incredible. Now, this jersey actually came out a while ago, and uh, you would have maybe suspected that I already had it in my collection, but I didn't. It went out of stock, and then it came back in stock, and then it went back out of stock, and uh, here we are today. And uh, they are not going to make this anymore after this year, and I decided, you know what? It is time that I pick up this jersey because that is completely unacceptable. I need this jersey in my collection. It is an iconic jersey. It matches my reverse retro from uh, from Carolina, so it was an absolute must-have. So I didn't I didn't have the extra money to spend on the hand stitching, which is really unfortunate. So, but I just wanted to get the jersey in my hands before it wasn't I wasn't going to be able to purchase it anymore. That's really what it came down to. I was super nervous about it going out of stock once that knowledge becomes more widespread. Uh, so I, I, I snagged it guys and the same the next jersey in the box is the exact same thing They ain't making that after this year either So if you're interested in this jersey if you're interested in the next jersey as you'll see here in a couple of seconds Man, you got to get on it. and You got to get these jerseys before you're not gonna be able to get them anymore. All right, let's move on The next jersey here we go Make your guesses Oh Okay, okay. So again, you Jersey experts will probably know what this is based on the silver striping, based on the white collar and the teal. Let's get it open. Actually, let's do a flip. Oh yes, it is the 30th anniversary. San Jose Shark Jersey. Wow, ooh, interesting. That logo feels, feels very different. Very interesting. I was not expecting that. Let's undo it. Get this out of the way. Again, blank. Couldn't afford to uh, to get the hand stitching. It was basically either get one jersey that was hand stitched or get both that weren't and then get them stitched in the future possibly. So that was the plan and uh, here we are. Wow. So happy to have this in my collection as you guys know. Or maybe you don't, maybe you're new. If you are new, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, the San Jose Sharks are actually my second favorite team behind the Montreal Canadiens. So I, I was on a journey to get uh, more San Jose Sharks jerseys because I didn't actually have that many. So in total, I have five now. Uh, as you may know, I recently unboxed the hand-stitched Marlowe jerseys from, from uh, Cool Hockey, which is 
amazing. I'm so happy to have that home jersey in my collection finally. And now I've got the 30th anniversary jersey. And the only one I don't have, I think technically, is the reverse retro and the away jersey. And I'm not going to be able to get the reverse retro, unfortunately. I can't find it anywhere uh, for a decent price. That is, it's still full price anywhere that I did find it. And then it's something that's it's in the States. And since I'm in Canada, I've got to worry about conversion fees and duty and, and, and shipping. And it ends up being, you know, like $350, $400 Canadian for a blank reverse retro jersey. So it's fortunately just not worth it. So I'm, I've swallowed it that I'm not going to get that one. But I still might be able to find the San Jose Sharks away jersey somewhere. I do know where it is. I'm just not sure if I want to spend, spend the money on it, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so here we are. We've got the San Jose Sharks 30th anniversary jersey with a lovely shoulder patch here. Uh, a, a beautiful classic logo. The only thing I don't like about it is the collar. Uh, I think it just being that white, it looks like the priest collar, kind of like the original Chicago Blackhawks Adidas jersey and like the current Montreal Canadiens jersey. But otherwise, this is a beautiful jersey. So happy to have it in my collection. And uh, it's it's not what I thought it would be. I thought they'd go with the white because I did have this in Reebok. But uh, I'm still happy that they came out with it. And I'm happy to have it in my collection. Now, I've already told you the bad news. This jersey, you can't get it after this year. And that's not technically confirmed, but I have an inside source, okay? So you're not going to be able to get this, this 30th anniversary jersey. So if you want it, man, go get it now, okay? Go get it now. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, but you don't have to spend anything extra, you can help support the channel by going to coolhockey.com slash post to post. Use that URL. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps the channel. And it can also save you 10% if you use code post to post. So use the URL, then use the code to save yourself 10%. Uh, both of these jerseys are in stock right now on Cool Hockey. So if you want to snag these before they go out of stock, man, now's the time. Now's the time. So the Hartford Whalers Green, not going to be produced after this year. San Jose Sharks, 30th anniversary, not going to be produced. The Carolina alternate, the black one, the stealth kind of one, apparently that's not going to be produced, which was a huge shocker to me. Uh, I already have that one, which is, whew, I don't have to buy another one. So that's good. Uh, the other one, I think, was the Arizona Coyotes Kachina jersey, which completely blew my mind away. I thought that the the team was trending towards bringing a white version of the Kachina. Uh, I think he even mentioned that you know, days ago in a, in a Jersey concept video, uh, thinking about the logic of the team and stuff. And apparently that's not what's going to happen, which is just crazy. So guys, if you don't have the Kachina jersey, you got to go get it because it might not be uh, uh, might not be available anywhere. I think once this news gets out and people realize what's going on, dude, you ain't going to be able to buy that jersey anywhere. So get it now if you can find it. And there was another one, too. I can't remember what it was. It was another alternate. Oh, it was the Anaheim Ducks uh, 25th anniversary jersey. That one is not going to be uh, uh, manufactured after this year either. And there might have been a, one or two others. I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, if I think about them, I will put them as a pinned comment. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you, if you want to add to your collection and you're worried about them going out of stock and you want to get them before they're gone for good and you're stuck, you know, four years down the road is spending twice the, the, the price on, on eBay trying to get it uh, because you didn't get it now, you might want to consider getting it now. Just, uh, just a little heads up. And, uh, yeah, either way, super happy to have these in my collection. As you guys know, I sold a bunch of jerseys recently, and I put most of that money towards uh, building up a prize, and that, that's still not confirmed for the contest, that prize, but it is definitely in the works. We're getting closer to uh, potentially announcing the contest. And then I, um, I used some of my own personal money to buy these jerseys, so I didn't, you know, I didn't use any of the money that I, I got selling the jerseys to buy these. I always buy my jerseys with my own personal money, nothing, no money from the, the channel. You know, if I make any money from the channel, whether it's on Patreon, YouTube, selling jerseys, whatever, I always put that back into the channel. I never spend any, uh, any of that money on jerseys. I spend my own personal money for my actual day job, not post to post. So. Yeah, hope you guys are having a really good day. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I appreciate you. Like I said, if you're new, man, you got to hit the subscribe button. Catch lots of uh, unboxing videos coming in the, in the future. And just a little heads up, I may have found an incredible deal on four jerseys that may be on the way. And I mean incredible deal. You guys ain't, ain't not going to want to miss it. So make sure that if you are subscribed, you got the notification, notification bell turned on. We're releasing videos basically every day here. I'm going to try not to re release videos on Saturday, take a break, maybe Tuesday or Thursday, depending on how I feel. But uh, we're, we're, we're producing lots of hockey content. Playoffs are coming up, so we'd love to have you on board. And uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll catch you later. Adios.